welcome back to my channel um, and this week I'll be talking about back to school and where the what top five best shops to go into to get your school supplies and there'll be one extra so it will be top six but top five um, shops with one extra shop which are good for supplies which is for some another country so stay tuned to see what that extra one is and we'll see you soon don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and press that bell for um, notifications so welcome back um, I will be talking about the top five best um, shops to go for school supplies um, to help every to help people who are going back to school um, get the supplies either cheaply or the best quality as possible um, to help you guys figure out what shops to go to because I, when I was going to school I figured out I was one always wondering what are the best shops to go to and what's the cheapest or what's the best quality or just what's the best shops overall just to go to um, and that's going on YouTube so just what I'm doing for you guys so anyway so off I go to my list number, number five is um, Costco there's a Costco in England where I am and there's one in London, Rayleigh so I'd go there um, as it's quite cheap and it's a wholesale so you can get more than just one packet You that's the best thing about finding wholesale is they're cheap because you can get like a whole packet of pencils or a whole pack of pads um, more than one because I found that I kept having to buy more pads, pencils, pens if you buy them in bulk you've got them for the whole year um, also Costco is also in America where it's based so any American viewers um, that want to know where the best place to go, I'd say Costco for England and America. So that's my number five. Number four would be Aldi or Lidl. They'd, I've put them both together because they're both the same family, just different um, shops. But either Aldi or Lidl because I find they're very, very cheap. I love them. I always shop there for my food, absolutely everything. I always shop there. Um, so I'd find if you want very very cheap pricing then I'd go for Aldi or Lidl. So next one is number th two, three, three, <laughs> not Catherine. number three um, I'd say WH Smith's. It's not the cheapest one of the lot of my list but I'd find the better quality. So if you want better quality and um, for them to last a little bit longer than cheaper products, I'd say go to WH Smith. So I used to get my fountain pens, pens, rubbers, everything. You find anything stationary there. I find they're one of the best places to go. And it's just a little bit pricey if you're on a budget, but it's worth the money with the quality. Number two is Tesco's. Tesco's is one of the biggest companies in England. As well as out as dub and um, Aldi's, I find Tesco's is better because it's cheap and they always have a back to school range. They always do. So I'd, I'd go there to get all the accessories. At the moment, they've got deals on, and they've got all this all this stuff early. So I'd go in there and get it as early as possible because it'll be the cheapest. They always bump up their prices. I find when it's a week or two before back to school because everyone then has to buy them ready. And they haven't got a choice with the prices. So if you want to. If, we want to buy anything from Tesco's, get it quite early when they first come out because they'll start bumping their prices up near the time. And number one for me would be Poundland. Seems um, an easy option. It Again, it's only a pound. Um, half of my stuff is from Poundland. I got this chalkboard with a stand. That's for my bits. I always go to Poundland for my desk supplies for YouTube and everything else and just pens, pencils, general use. I always go to Poundland because it's, again it's a pound and it's not bad quality. They do last for a while and it then not easily broken bits because I um, we had, when I bought some bits of Poundland I dropped them and yeah it was on the ground and on concrete and they didn't break so quality wise I find they're quite good. So yeah they're my top five. Right and um, the extra one this is not you don't get this, this shop in England, America, or any other place apart from Japan. But um, I heard, because my partner used to live in Japan, but the 100, 100 yen shop, they are just like Poundland, 
and they are quite cheap and you can get you can get supplies and so if you're in Japan and you're looking for um, school supplies a hundred yen shop will be absolutely brilliant it by the sounds of it and by the looks of their website and everything like that they've got everything you need so sorry I wasn't much help apart from sorry I wasn't much help with any other countries but I only know the hundred yen shop by being told that they're good and that they're cheap and um, Costco because they're in England and I know that in America it's roughly the same but yeah so that's my top five with my extra special one so thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this video um, comment down below what you thought and if there's any other shops that you use that I haven't mentioned in my um, video and don't forget to press the subscribe button which will be here and we'll see you soon